time and time again, I always feel like I have to explain why I hate kick streamers so much. And it's pretty self-explanatory if you go on Twitter for any number of time possible, because you'll always be able to see a clip surface every now and then of someone just doing the absolute worst shit imaginable. So just Jack Doherty getting in his car crash recently and then focusing more on the car and the content rather than his fucking friend who potentially got seriously injured neon every every now and then does something really fucking stupid sneeko always says something really dumb like recently he had a clip on his live stream where he was pissed off at women being in the new call of duty campaign which is like <laughs> i started like one of the comments literally said just come out of the closet bro with duke of amp who i think is kaisenat's friend i thought that was funny every now and then a really disgusting clip comes out and you're always just so surprised at how low people are willing to go in order to be able to get some amount of clout or some amount of money. And the clip that we're talking about today is a quick streamer who dined and dashed someone recently. And that in itself is already a really shitty thing to do. To go ahead and have a meal with someone, you're conversing with them, you're learning more about each other, you're having a nice meal, you're having a nice time, and then you piss the fuck off and then you go ahead and just leave them with the bill, right? But that in itself is already a really disgusting thing to do because that's illegal, you're not supposed to do that. And what makes this absolutely fucking worse is the fact that the person that he did it to was homeless. The person that he did this to was a homeless woman who obviously can't pay for the fucking bill because she doesn't even have enough money to be able to have her own home. So how is she going to be able to pay for a meal that the two of them had together? The fact that this even fucking happened in the first place was absolutely disgusting. It happened like yesterday or two days ago. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe how low this person was willing to go to, for, for simple content, right? For live streaming content. That he only got like a couple hundred views, I think it was, when I saw it on Mudahar's channel. He had only gotten like a hundred and something views on the VOD. <laughs> so... It wasn't even worth it, and it definitely wasn't worth it because one of the co-founders of Kick actually tweeted saying that they were banned and that they were doing this for a contest for 50k and they want to get in contact with the lady that was in the clip and give them $50,000. So that's great, but they mentioned the contest, and so I really wanted to know what contest he was talking about. Wasn't too hard to find, it turns out it was actually from renowned scammer and degenerate piece of shit Sam Pepper who has had infamous pranks before in the past on his old YouTube channel where he would pinch women's butts or that one time where he faked killing someone's best friend right in front of them. Uh, you know, just like the most disgusting piece of shit on the platform on the entire internet. So, turns out he was running an event where he was going to give some random person who did the most like outlandish thing $50,000 for an event that he was running. And... There were a couple of clips that I found afterwards. They're, they were on the Drama Alert account. They, they were just some of the first clips that I could find. And they actually have Sam Pepper reacting to the clips. And one of the clips, you have someone dressing up as a baby and acting like a baby. Just, like, like completely just, like, no shame. Just willing to do whatever it takes. Like, even embarrass himself out in public to try to get $50,000 from Sam Pepper, who's probably not even going to give him the money in the first place, even if he, if he was to win. It's because it's Sam Pepper. He's definitely not going to give anyone the money. He just wants to use the shit for content on his own stream. So, yeah. Some guy just stoops down extremely low, scans someone out of a meal. You have one person who acts like an absolute fucking baby and embarrasses himself completely. And then you have another guy, shits himself, grabs his shit, and then shoves his shit literally in someone's face literally shoving shit in other people's faces and sam pepper the entire time is just watching this happen in the clips and he's fucking laughing about it he finds this shit so funny this uh, latino guy who's just running a store he's just trying to run his business right for his family to try to make us try to make ends meet as much as possible and you have this guy just shoving literal shit in his face. And then he just goes and starts harassing other people with it. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't even know what to say, right? I, I'm actually genuinely dumbfounded by this shit. I can't believe it. I just genuinely can't believe that people are willing to do just, like, no self-esteem, no no awareness, no anything. They, they, they're, just, they're willing to sacrifice it all just for clout on their live stream. And then for $50,000 from Sam Pepper, who's probably not even going to give anybody the money anyways. Where he says he's trying to find the most talented streamers, and the streamers that he's watching are people who are willing to embarrass themselves by dressing up as a baby, scamming people out of a meal, and leaving them with the bill, specifically a homeless person in this context, and it's someone who's willing to completely embarrass themselves even further by shoving shit in people's faces, and then recording it on their live stream. All for content. All for Sam Pepper to react to 
just I, I can't believe it. Like kick streaming is all has already been something that I just I really hated because you had people like Jack Doherty and Neon and they were just embarrassing the platform. You had all these fucking like PDF file streamers who keep getting exposed by by other content creators. And then this shit. I, I, I can't believe it. I can't believe the lengths that people are willing to go for money and for clout. And it's it's embarrassing. It's the most embarrassing shit and the most degenerate shit I've ever seen. And I just, I don't get it. I don't get why people are willing to go so far for basically fucking nothing. I genuinely do not know what to say. Like, this, like my mind is literally fucking melting. That's all I really want to say. Sam Pepper is a disgusting piece of shit who I still don't understand how it is that he's on how he's on the internet entirely and how he still has an audience he's on kick so he can pretty much get away with fucking whatever because they're, they're never going to ban him he's going to go ahead and continue to keep scamming people like he did with uh, the save the children coin or the save the kids coin that he did with phase clan and he tricked a whole bunch of phase clan members and rice gum to get up to get onto and then encouraging this horrible behavior such as scamming people out of a meal and <laughs> dressing up as a baby which is so weird anyway that's pretty much it. That's all I have to say. Uh, the lengths that people are willing to go to, it's surprising at times, but then other most of the time it's just, it's horrible and disgusting. And the depravity of it all is just, it's horrible. I can't believe it. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, I want to go ahead and take a second at the very end of the video and shout out my new Twitter account because like I mentioned before in a previous video, my old one got suspended. So I made a new one. It's going to be linked down in the description. I would really appreciate it if you guys go ahead and follow my new Twitter account and I really appreciate it. I also want to go ahead and give a shout out to the member memberships. So right now it's only currently page 360. I really appreciate it. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you liked the video, be sure to like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.